But first, it only took jurors 15 minutes to decide a Virginia Beach man should spend the rest of his life behind bars for injecting his ex-girlfriend with cyanide. Jen on your side has been covering the trial against Joseph Merlino III for a week now. Jason Marks is live outside the Virginia Beach courthouse with the final chapter of this case. Jason. Well, guys, it was an emotional day in court for Ellie Tran's family. Uh, her sister from Vietnam took the stand to talk to the jury to talk about all the pain this has caused. The jury then went to go deliberate, and as you mentioned, it did not take them very long. Uh, it's very, very difficult to talk about this. Ellie Tran's family says the pain is still overwhelming. Not a moment goes by they don't think about her life. It is a very, very broken heart. And we missing our early. Tran was injected with cyanide by her ex-boyfriend Joseph Merlino Valentine's Day 2017. She died the next day. Today, the same jury who found him guilty of murder recommended that he be sentenced to life. I feel justice has been made for my Ellie, my poor sister. Merlino didn't have an expression when the sentence was read. His attorneys asked the judge to set aside his conviction because they believe he wasn't even in the area at the time of trans murder. This is an act of, as I said, was vile and it was cruel. Prosecutors say the evidence shows that's just not true. This is a case where he actually plotted and planned a poisoning and a murder by cyanide. And I think that is something that the community should fear. And I think that the jury's verdict touched on that. Tran moved to this country from Vietnam in search of a better life. She worked two jobs and had a child with Merlino. She installed cameras on her home after they broke up. Those cameras captured the moment she was injected. She is uh, the sister that I'm will remember of every, every day, all my life. Trans family members say they're grateful to the jury. They know it won't bring her back, but prosecutors say at least the verdict can provide some closure. I think from day one, uh, the, the evidence showed that, that he was guilty of these offenses. And we had a chance to speak with one juror on the way out after that sentence was handed down. He told us that the jury wanted to speak for Ellie. They did that today, life in prison without parole. That's the recommendation. A judge will now formally sentence Joseph Merlino September 26th. We're live in Virginia Beach. Jace Marks, 10 on your side.